This tutorial will instruct how to sew a zip-up collar onto a top such as the Pacific Pullover, Lumia Jacket, or Whistler Jacket. To prep the collar, interface the pieces with two-way stretch knit fusible interfacing such as Pellon EK130. Ensure the stretch runs the length of the collar piece. At minimum, you will interface one side fully and use a one inch strip down the short edges of the other side. For a lightweight fabric or more stiff collar, interface both pieces fully. Mark a notch at the midpoint on the long side of the collar. Place pieces right side together and pin along the short edge. Using a serger or a stretch stitch, sew the short curved edge of the collar using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. The notched edge of the collar will attach to the bodice. At this point, you need to decide how you will finish the inner collar piece as the last step of this process. You have multiple options. The first is to simply turn and press the edge 3 8 inch for a simple top stitch finish. Second, twill tape can be used one of two ways. It can be surged and flipped or simply top stitched on. Ribbon can be used in a similar manner. A third option is to use a coordinating strip of knit fabric approximately one and a half inches wide. If the knit is very stretchy, interface the wrong sides. Fold the strip wrong sides together and stretching slightly, pin the raw edges along the raw edge of the collar. Sew or serge in place. Before attaching the collar, the body of the jacket must be complete. If doing a quarter or half zip, cut the shirt down the center as instructed. After marking the center back of the bodice, align the collar center back and pin along the entire neckline. Sew along the pinned edge. Once the collar is attached, it's time to sew the zipper on. Tuck the upper ends of the zipper tape out to the side. Place the zipper right side down with the tape along the raw edge of the jacket. Tuck the zipper up tight to the seam where the two collar pieces are sewn. The jacket needs a 3 8 inch strip of interfacing or wonder tape along the length of the jacket on the wrong side. We will sew along the length of the zipper. You have the option to fold the inside of the collar down at the same time. Using a zipper foot or shifting the needle to the left, sew one pass using a 3.0 stitch length. Sew the zipper on top of the fabric as closely to the zipper teeth as possible. If sewing a one quarter or half zip top, you'll have to stop, raise the machine foot, and pass the zipper full by the presser foot. Lower the presser foot and resume sewing to the end of the zipper. Once the first side of the zipper is in place, mark your landmarks along the zipper to know where to align them on the other side of the jacket. Fully unzip the zipper. Place the zipper right side down with the tape along the raw edge of the jacket. First, line up your landmarks. Then, align the top of the zipper tape at the collar seam and again at the bottom. If you're sewing the inner collar in one pass, Flip the inner collar to conceal the top portion of the zipper and pin along the length of the jacket. One technique to ensure that the zipper is properly aligned is to sew only five to 10 basting stitches at each of the landmarks. Take the jacket off the sewing machine and zip the jacket up to verify that they line up. Once satisfied with the alignment of your landmarks, Sew down the remaining parts of the zipper using a 3.0 stitch length. When possible, sew with the zipper on the top. Once both zippers are in place with one stitching pass, decide how you want to finish the zipper. The most simple option is to use a simple top stitch with a 1 quarter inch seam allowance. Be sure to catch the zipper tape. If concealing the zipper, it is recommended to do so in the same manner you will finish the collar neckline. Once both sides of the zipper have been top stitched, 
The final step is to sew down the inner collar to conceal the sewn edges of the collar to the bodice. Remember, some of your options include a simple fold and press, twill tape, or a folded knit fabric. Whichever your method, pulling the inner collar piece to cover the seam line of the collar to the bodice, secure with wonder tape or pins. Top stitch in place with a 3.0 stitch length. You now have a fully secured zipper and a collar with a concealed neckline seam. Nicely done.